today we're going to be cutting princess cuts so i'll be showing you how to cut a princess cut and what it requires to make a princess cut so what you'll be needing for your princess cut you'll be needing a tip your client's measurement and the measurement you have to use is to measure from the shoulder to the nipple point from the nipple point to the under bust from the other bust half length then the length if it's a top princess bust top then you measure the length then you take your bust circumference which is round then you take your waist measurement which is round then you take your armhole you take your apex apex is this here this fluffy side of the armpit that's what they call apex you also take the measurements too as well then you take your length circumference how wide you want your top or your blouse to be so here i'll be having after taking the measurements you have your tape you have your chalk and your scissors and also after having your material too you also be needing this this is called warding this is it it's kind of thick white this is kind of the shiny part this is the shiny part and this is the door side of it you also use this for the princess cut so this is called warden they have different types they have the lighter one they have the thick one and this is paper steel as you can see it this is paper steel this is the rough edge and this is the smooth edge so all you need to do is just to fill it so you'll be using this this the material and your lining to have a very clean and neat job so now back to my draft so now i'll be showing you how to cut princess cut so please listen attentively and okay, so you take from your shoulder to your bust line which is eight then from your bust line to from your bust line this this is your nipple point this is your nipple line which is from bust from shoulder to your nipple here you also have to take the measurements then now from shoulder to under bust so my shoulder to my under bust is 13 so you chuck it straight so now from your shoulder to your waist or your half length waist just normally for waist for your half length some people's half lengths are usually 16 or 17 some are 18 the taller you are the higher or lesser your waist your half length will become is and to get this there's this bone here to get as a beginner when you want to take half length there's a bone here this is your ribs here at this region either you just tell your client to just slightly bend a little there's this bone here that is where you take your half length that is where your half length is so now you take from your shoulder to that particular spot for this measurement from that shoulder to that spot is 16. then you chuck it straight then this is my full length this is my full length so this is how to draft in a normal body measurement this is just the basic um, draft for, for top measurements you get your shoulder this is the shoulder this is the nipple this is the upper chest which is the nipple the upper chest which is the bust this is your nipple line this is your under bust this is your half length the half length is also known as waist but why we call it half length is because you don't put it there when wearing skirt where you start your waist measurement for your skirt is different from your top waist measurement so that's why you also you have to learn all this when sewing so you will make mistake while sewing and this is my full length here so now let's start will you first of all you start with your bust so my bust here is um 
this is 36 inches so 36 divided by 4 you make sure you divide it by 4 because it's a, because your measure because every normal body measurement you divide it by 4 why dividing it by 4 is because your front is 2 your back is 2 this is 1 2 3 4 that is, that is the reason why you're dividing it by 4 so now I divide it by 4 36 divided by 4 So the six divided by four is nine. So this nine, I'll place nine here, and I'll also add my four inch allowance. Because why I'm adding four inch allowance? Because we are, we are cutting a princess cut, not a normal top, not a normal blouse. This is princess cut. That's why you have to add, after your nine inch bust, you still add extra four inch allowance to it. So here we go. So you place it from this edge. So this is my nine inch here. You chuck it, then you add your four inch, as you can see, I've added my four inch allowance. From here, where you chuck your, your bust measurement, you from there you place your tape there, the four inch front, then you chuck. So now, I come down to my waist. My waist here is 32. So 32 divided by 4 as well. This is 32, as you can see, 32 inches. Then you divide it by 4. That's 8. 8, you chuck your 8 and you still add the same 4 inch allowance which you added for the bust. You still add it to the waist. So this is my waist which is also known as a half length so you chuck you place your eight okay this fluffy thing here that's in between the arm and the bust it puffs out like kind of a flesh here it's called the apex so you measure the, your clients from the shoulder to that apex to get your apex so now my client's shoulder apex is five and a half so what you do you place your tape on the shoulder and chuck five and a half watch so now, this is my apex. This is five and a half. This is it here. You chuck your five and a half. Then that five and a half, you come down by one and a half inch. And you chuck. So this is my five and a half from my shoulder to here is five and a half. Then from here down here is one and a half inch. This is your apex so now this is where the main work is you have to join these two lines down to this your nipple point because this is your nipple point and mind you nipple to nipple is eight the standard nipple to nipple is eight so why you can see earlier i said you take go in here by four so why you also go in here by four is that this is your nipple to nipple so when you divide your nipple into two it's four four here four here so now from here to here is four so here now is your nipple point this is your nipple so now you have to connect this down to this is your nipple here to get the shape the first of all and has to be puffy so you connect the first line then for the second line You connect the second line you can see the way i connected it you can see how it is so this is actually your princess cut so when connecting this then after you've done this then you come back here so now you just slant this or you just slant it you join the lines which is your bust and your waist you join it together so now we come down to the neck the neck region which is here so you depend on how your clients want it the person wants a round shape a round neck V neck, whichever style the person wants, fit out neck, whichever shape the person wants at the front, you just all you need to do is just the measurement. So here I'll be using a round measurement. I'll be going in by three, I'll be going in by three, and I'll come down by four for the neck. So this is it. I go in by three to so have a round neck. You go in by three, then you come down by four. Then you 
join the lines together. Then here at this point here, you go in by half inch. You can go in by half inch, you can go in by one inch, depending on how you want the roundness to look like. Because people have different, there are different kinds of circle, depending on how you want the cuff to be. So I will be going in by one inch. Then all you need to do is to connect it. You can see it. This is when you go in by one inch, it gives you this kind of cotton, this kind of curving. So when you're done like this, then now you look know, at the clothes. Okay, this as you can see, ah, this is not too visible though. But here on the shoulder here, for you to get a perfect joining, so that the shoulder will lap. For it not to puff out, because when putting on a clothes, it needs to lap, not to puff out or anything. So all you need to do is that at the shoulder here, you come down by one inch. Either you come down by one inch or you come down by one and a half inch, depending on how you want. But either you come down by one inch or one and a half. You don't go anything above or below this two measurements. So I'll be coming down here by one and a half inch. This is the slant here. So on this neck region, I will go in by one inch. Neck region, I will go in by one inch so that it will not affect the length of my top. So even after doing the cutting, after joining it, it will still be the same perfect length of my of my plant length without having any join or going above or below it. So you go in here by one inch. This is the one inch. So now from here to here, you slant it. Which is so as you can see, like this. I'm done cutting, I'm done drafting my princess cut. So now you watch as I cut and watch the way I cut it. The parts that will be removed and the parts that will be done draining. I have cut the back middle so this here is the back middle then you divide it into two because of the zip so now if you see now if you watch this two pattern this two dropping you notice that there's something different in it the back is bigger than the front and the neck region the neck here is deeper than the one at the back so these are the things you should look at and this is the back you can see from my front i slanted it but the back i didn't slant the back is just straight i did not slant the back so when you now fit in this thing here when you now join it together like this you can see you're having a smooth and a slant shoulder joining that it won't pop out it will lap on your shoulder this is for the back this is the middle this is the front middle and this is the back middle. So now I'll be showing you how to cut the cup for the back. This is my front cup. This is my front cup. So now I'll show you the back cup. Okay, you take your fabric, you place it down. Then you place, always fold your fabric into two. So that you have the front and the back together always do that so you won't do mistake cutting the same facing twice if you don't do it that way you end up cutting the face the same facing twice so now this is my box for the front i'll place it on this material here as you can see place it here use your office paint to hold it so now this is the way i cut or let me show you the slantiness of it this is my cup for the front for the back, I will slant it from this particular spot 
I'll slant it from here. I'll slant it this way. You see the slanting for my back? This is the way I'll slant the back. Once you or if uh, if this is gonna give you issues, after cutting you can I cut this into four places? And you cut this into four. Then for the back, you slant out the back like this. Then you cut it. So now you can see my back. This is my back. You can see the cup, the the cotton, my back cup. And this is my front cup. At least you can tell the difference from the two. So this is the back cut. This this is the back cotton. And this is the front cotton for the cup. Then this is my front. As you can see, this is it. When you open it, it becomes like this. This is it. Then this is for the back. This is the back so this particular inch this is about two inch here so this space here why i divide it into two is because you put your zip when you sew your zip then you fold this inside after putting your zip you fold this inside then after sewing after sewing this dress you still have to run your measurement on the dress to make sure it's accurate with what you have with what you read with, with what you jot down so at the end of the day, it will not be that the bust is bigger and the hip is small and all that. So you won't have.